What's up guys, Dom Matter here with a new video and today we are going to talk about trust within the media, um, Democrats versus Republicans, uh, basically within the establishment media for the most part because I don't really like using the term mainstream media because a lot of these media outlets aren't really mainstream. Most of them are actually viewed much less than a lot of online creators. There's um, even guys like The Quartering, he averages more views than a lot of these news sites do, than a lot of the, or even their stations. Um, I've heard the term boomer media used before or power politics media because these news corporations either tend to be um, the mouthpieces of the powerful, the mouthpieces of governments, which again would be the powerful. Uh, so either powerful private individuals, powerful uh, in the sense that they're government news, or they just happen to be listened to by a lot of boomers and therefore people who are in positions of power because generally the older you are, the higher um, position within a, uh, a power structure you hold. But regardless, let's look at this. So Elon uh, tweeted this out. It's actually uh, done by you.gov, the economist in you.gov, uh, from March 26th to March 29th of this year. And as you can see, they have a bunch of different uh, mainstream outlets and legacy media outlets. You have the Weather Channel, which tends to be the most trusted. Um, about 50% Republicans and just over 60% Democrats trust it. Um, that one I kind of find it funny that there is even any amount of disparity, although I imagine part of that has to do with, uh, you know, Republicans tending to be from more rural areas and working more outdoors, you know, construction jobs and stuff. You know, I used to work, uh, I both did concrete work and road work, and a lot of the guys would joke around that, uh, you know, about three quarters of the time you can trust that the uh, whatever the weatherman says is not going to happen. So I imagine that's probably some of the discrepancy, although I'm not entirely sure. Um, PBS, obviously there's a huge gap in PBS because um, w these are government broadcasting stations. Um, the PBS, the BBC, CBS, um, a lot of these are, I, I think uh, CBS is an American station that's not, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, American uh, broadcasting station. I almost thought that was CBC for a second, which is, is not. CBC is the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, which is a government organization. Um, so PBS and BBC, though, are both government organizations, and I think that's why you see the uh, biggest discrepancies between the two, because obviously the right, when it comes to economics, are far more libertarian, so they really don't trust them. Um, except for CNN, that seems to actually be the biggest one. But this one, you know, obviously being near the top. Uh, and BBC, again, you know, right being anti-government media. And also, because these two are the ones that... They, a lot of these, like, government ones tend to claim to be unbiased, but they're very biased, and I think that drives a lot of uh, animosity between them. You see that a lot with CNN as well. You know, CNN generally claims they are not a biased news source. They're impartial, but they are probably one of if not the most partial news source out there aside from stuff like fox news and one america news and like a lot of these ones down here um but i think the big difference is that like cnn pretends to be impartial whereas fox will outright tell you they are a right-wing news source um you got the new york times washington post i'm surprised washington post even has that much trust among uh right-wingers um associated press time magazine fox news the one thing i do find fascinating though is that Fox News is the most trusted among right-wingers, and it's only about 55%, not even. It's probably 52 to 53% of the, the uh, Republican Party uh, trust Fox News. And I think that's partly because they admit that they are a right-wing news corporation. And I think uh, right-wingers in general tend to be a lot more um, anti-authoritarian against you know government doing anything. Um, partially, I think that's partially because of their economic philosophy. Uh, you know, one thing I always say is, you know, you, you have, I, I, I find left libertarian politics to be kind of oxymoronic in a sense because you can't control culture without controlling the economy. Um, and, you know, it, it depends on what you mean by right and left because, you know, some people, you know, that's a whole other debate, a whole other video. I'll, I'll get off that. But anyway, um, some of these other ones, One America News, uh, you know, I think that's the one that Trump started, if I'm not mistaken. It's not very trusted by either, although funnily enough, it is actually more trusted uh, than Newsmax by Democrats. Uh, Breitbart, not very trusted either. Again, I'm actually kind of surprised with that one to some degree, although not really. Um, I'm not even sure what Newsmax is. I've never heard of that. Newsmax News. Oh, they have a Twitter, apparently. Real news for real people. Interesting. 
Yeah, I have never heard of these guys. Trump speaks at the Save America rally. Looks like a fucking Fox Sports broadcast. Anyway, I'm guessing they're some kind of right-wing news, judging by the fact that uh, they are far, far less trusted by the Democrats. They're almost actually at the point of uh, not quite about a 10-point gap between them and uh, Fox News when it comes to the Republicans. But some of these comments on here I think are absolutely hilarious. So if we take a look over here, you know, imagine thinking Fox News is trustworthy, which is kind of funny because even among Republicans, only about 55% of the, of the Republican, which is self-admitted Republicans, admit that they trust Fox News. Um, whereas if you look at a lot of the left wing, that's literally in, if, if all, assuming all these were, uh, you know, the same, for lack of a better term, right, same political party, it would be in the bottom half, right? So like it's, it's one of the least trusted news sources, even by its own people. Um, so not many people, you know, trust it. I think part of that is because, you know, right-wingers tend to be more skeptical in general, whereas left-wingers, they tend to be far more ideological and just fall in line with whatever the party narrative is. Um, oh, let's give news based on the percentage of news. Uh, oh, shit. Did not mean to click that. You mean the guy saying fake news so often his party can't even trust the weather network anymore? I, was uh, I think that has more to do with them working in outdoors more often than the other people do you know they tend to be farmers they tend to be construction workers shit like that so they you know they actually have to pay attention to the weather network which means that they're more likely to see how often it is wrong you know like i was saying we used to always joke around that they're wrong about three quarters of the time um obviously that's a joke but i'm not sure I would, i'd love to see a study based on how um accurate the weather network is but even there that's like one of the ones with the smallest disparity so i mean it's kind of a weird hill to die on for this uh Jerry guy, but um, what else we got here? You want know, 69 or 66 are wrong. Democrats and Republicans are trading large amounts. Yeah, most of this seems to be largely unrelated. Republicans are brainwashed, they only listen to their own propaganda. Uh, that's kind of ironic because, I mean, that's literally not true. The Democrats run more or less every major news media outlet right like fox news is probably the only one here on here i would consider a major media outlet that's right wing um everything else is left wing and then you've got a couple minor ones like newsmax i'd never even heard of one america i had heard of and breitbite i'd heard of but both of these are like relatively small and niche right breitbart is much more of a uh um, I don't even know what you'd call it. It's it's more of like a, a niche even within the Republican Party. One American News is very much like the news for like the Trump coalition, right? Breitbart kind of was the same thing, although they predated Trump and to some degree have moved away from that. Um, Newsmax, I'm not entirely sure what their niche is, but uh, I don't think they're very big, so... Uh, Yeah, it's weird how much the Democrats trust media, all the media. Yeah, it is, it is kind of funny, like, and, like, it kind of goes back into this one, like, this guy, like, saying, um, you know, it only listen to their own propaganda. It's, it's, like, it's quite obviously not true, right? Um, I find that Republicans tend to have much, much more of an idea of what's going on, you know, within the, C especially within the major ones, you know, the CNN, the Wall Street Journal, New York Times, New York Post, um, you know, Time Magazine, USA Today. A lot of these uh, MSNBC, you know, partially because of how much um, easy cannon fodder right-wing outlets have when it comes to making fun of that stuff. But it is unavoidable to, um, you know, left-wing news, left-wing media is just completely unavoidable. They control most of Hollywood. They control the majority of the major news outwork networks, right? Like, I, w I would be very surprised if this guy has, like, watched Fox News. Like, you know, I don't really want to dox this guy, but... Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, doesn't seem to be p posting anything. He posts a decent amount about Boris Johnson, but I think most of the stuff he's posting about Boris Johnson tends to be, uh, just pro Zelensky stuff. Yeah, how would you feel about a news organization lying to the public? Yes, yeah, so that's just anti-Tucker stuff. Uh, 
How to heal our racial divide. Come on, it's this guy in Desert News. I'd be interested. I'm not sure what that uh, book's about. Cave Independent. Yeah, so this guy seems to very much be a. Uh, yeah, he's posting the Guardian. Yeah. But I don't really want to get too much into what that guy's doing. You know, it's just some random guy on the internet. But, um, you know, this tends to be one of the things that I see a lot of left wingers talk about is how brainwashed Republicans are. They only listen to their own news outlets. Um,. And yet, what I find fascinating is not only do they not know what Republicans are talking about a lot of the time, right? At best, they have a straw man idea of what Republican politics is. Um, but a lot of the time, they don't even know their own politics, right? They tend to know the talking points or, you know, kind of the, uh, the pop politics version of it, I call it, right? So, like, you know, the... Um, I don't even know what you'd call it. It's like they almost have a straw man version of their own ideology, um, that's not, I don't even know if you, the straw man is the proper word for it. There's probably a proper term for it, but essentially they have a mischaracterized version of their own ideology because they don't really understand the philosoph philosophical ideas that their ideology is rooted in. And a lot of the time they don't realize, you know, how much they've been brainwashed and the right wingers, at least the on online, right. tend to be a lot more aware of you know, like the deep philosophical roots of the left, whereas the left tends to not even be aware of their own roots, let alone the right's roots. And they'll talk about how, like, you know, the right wing is, like, this outgrowth of Nazis and, like, all this shit. It's, like, a lot of them are, you know, there is, um, you know, factions with, like, you know, obviously that, you know, it's undeniable to say that some of that stuff exists. But the right is largely an outgrowth of, like, English, what's, you know, often called English classical liberalism, which is why you'll see a lot of um, people who consider themselves liberals in the traditional sense, or they, they'll call themselves liberals or English classical liberals or something like that. They tend to be right-wingers is because what the what the conservatives are trying to conserve is English classical liberalism, but I'm getting, you know, kind of off on a tangent here. But I, I just wanted to talk about how, you know, I find it really fascinating that you have this discrepancy that everyone kind of knows about, right? It's kind of obvious. I would really like to see a um, a study done on, like, the differences between who is watching which news networks. Um, and, you know, just, just if I take my boomer dad as an example, he's not really a boomer. Technically, he's Gen X. But to anyone online, anyone that's not a millennial or younger is a boomer. Um so my, my, my Gen X boomer dad, uh, he is, I would say, a kind of center-right guy, but he watches CNN more than any other news network. Usually he's just fucking, like, hate-watching them, right? You know, just getting his blood pressure up and shit. But, um, you know, I would, I would really like to see a study done on how much left-wingers watch right-wing news and how much right-wingers watch left-wing news because I would be very surprised if left-wingers watched even one-tenth of the right-wing news that left-wing or that right-wingers watch left-wing news because they tend to have no idea what right-wingers actually think it's all this like boogeyman straw man in their head whereas right-wingers tend to be very very aware of what the left thinks but let, let, like comment subscribe and let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next video